Hi guys, it's me Obed, and today we will see how we can analyze a resume for a job description with generative AI. And this will be a complete end to end uh, project uh, which can be uh, deployed for the end user. And this will be a Next.js and Flask combination. Uh, front end will be in next back end will be in flask and we will be using open ai uh, model uh, in the back end okay uh, let's see the demo first and then we will see how we can develop it in our local system so uh, i will just give it a job description i have it here as a sample uh, job description I will copy this so make sure you define the job description uh, really uh, carefully and in detail as much as possible and then we give it a pri priority as skill education or experience so let's say you are uh, hiring for a senior position that means you will uh, be interested in the experience part rather than uh, the skills uh, rather than the education part skills will also be there right but i am interested in the experience and i will uh, choose a resume first so i will just open these two resumes which i will show as a demonstration as uh one of them is this saba and she's uh uh experienced uh data scientist or data engineer and working from quite a long time right the other is uh this by front ahmed raza he is an electrical technician so he don't know about anything about the data right so we will use these two uh uh, resumes for one job description which is of data engineer right so first I will do it for the sub and I will give it a submit button and uh, now this will be processed in the back end we can see the logs also and uh, here we have the result so 85 is the score of this candidate uh, which is computed against that job description and here is the explanation of that score so here is the analysis for this resume so Saba Sabzar is uh, you know good at data and uh, doing stuff with Python, DPT, Airflow, GCP and all that now let's use the same job description and uh, give the experience as priority and this time I will be using uh, that uh, electrical technician guy and let's submit this time we are doing this and you are seeing the score is zero because obviously this uh, resume is not a uh, right fit or not a good match to the job description so that's why we get a zero in this score and the explanation is quite simple that candidate don't acquire any skills or experience with the uh, job description you mentioned right so this is how it works and it can be easily scaled to any uh, number of job applicants uh, you just have to you know do parallel uh, calls and it will be computed against each uh, candidate uh, for the job description okay now let's see how we can uh, build this uh, type of system so this is a next JS project you can see the next directory even there uh, so I will just show you the main components because I believe every use case if is different uh, So you can just try it out with your own use cases and feel free to reach out if you uh, want to collaborate or 
uh, you know if you are working on any custom scenario or project and we can build something together uh, okay let's see so this is the index where we are accepting the uh, uh, the uh, job description the priority and the resume so we got three things there in our interface one is the text area which is uh, the job description so if I toggle the word wrap yeah so and now uh, then we have the priority and we have the own change events which will store the information uh, in the text area or the in the uh, input uh, field to uh, the relative fields right and then we have a form uh, which accept a file uh, even we don't uh, require to use the form tag because uh, this handle file will automatically be using this uh, property of input and event will be triggered on uh, when we change anything in that uh, uh, tag right so we select a file and when we click on submit it will send that file to our backend and if we see here this is our backend uh, the flask application and uh, if we see the backend here so we have uh, this backend so what we do is uh, we return the score and the voice score explanation uh, using the LLM of uh, where it is uh, the GPT-4 Turbo from the OpenAI right and we have the OpenAI keys and stuff and the uh, template which will be uh, you know analyzing the job description and the resume content and then what we are doing is uh, we are getting back this response and we are displaying that information in a separate page uh, where we uh, show the score and the y score so this is the variable for the score and this is the variable for the y score we are getting this from the search params that means it will be in the url and how it will be in the url because we are getting it here uh, these are the score and the y score and we are pushing it in the url with the display info right so score is this y score is this file name is this and we are using this info in our display page okay i believe uh, this was quite a simple uh, demonstration and you can use it on your own use cases uh i believe this helps uh you guys in some scenarios i'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching